Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all doing good. What a glorious day. Again, I've gone out like thinking it was going to be cold and it's turned out to be boiling. But you guys don't care about what I'm wearing. What you do care about is what I'm riding. Look at this. Finally been built. I'll give you some nice like close-ups on the screen. And like, honestly, does this not look amazing? It's just such a perfect build. Genuinely, I've only ridden it 10 meters and I'm in love. It just looks amazing. The paint job is so sparkly. I mean, look at it. Look at it, guys. Do you not agree that it looks amazing? You've seen this bike in so many videos now, you just want to know how it rides, right? So I've ridden it 10 meters, stiffer than expected. That's, that's the first impression, but, um, but blooming lovely. I need to get used to these Ultegra like shifters because they're a bit different to what I'm used to. Just going to go for a bit of a ride, check everything's dialed in, see how it feels, and um, fingers crossed, nothing falls off. So I've actually had quite a few bikes in the past few, like, well, the past year. Like I've had the Specialized Alley Sprint, like an aluminium crit frame. I've had a wind space carbon like climbing, like weight frame. Then the Yolio, the R12, that was like more of an aero frame. So it'll be nice to see how this like stacks up against them. I mean, a custom steel frame is just something special. So I'm expecting a lot from it and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be disappointed. Right, there's enough nattering. Let's go and see how this steel bike compares to all the other bikes that I've got. I think it might be my favorite and I've only ridden it like from the house to here. <laughs> Let's go. Uh Right, 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 right. I did stop for a quick cake. Every new bike day should be rewarded with a cake as well, don't you think? So let me tell you a little bit about this bike and how it rides and all this stuff. And the reason that I honestly would always highly recommend custom. I know it's crazy expensive. That's the thing, custom bikes are expensive, but this is without a doubt the best fitting bike I've ever ridden. So when I spoke to Sam at Steyer, like I'm always between sizes and my ideal size would be like a 57 top tube. And well, I won't go into it, but basically he did exactly what I asked for and then sized up with the right length stem. This bike is seriously so perfect and it feels so nice. And it is a bit of a rocket. I'm gonna add, right? I keep on looking because I think there might be a car about to run me over. It's such a rocket ship. That might be because I've been riding like a gravel bike a lot and this feels really fast in comparison. Or it might just be that it's a really nice bike. I mean, there is no denying this is a nice bike. It's blooming lovely. I know I keep on saying it's blooming lovely, but it is, it's blooming lovely, isn't it? I do need to weigh it. But honestly, you don't really notice the way I've got deep rims on it, so it feels like, oh, it's just pinned. I do want to do some segments and see how it compares to other bikes, but my computer just died, so that put an end to that one. I just wanted to have a little bit of a roll around today and just see, like, you know, well, basically get used to the gears, see if anything's rattling. It turns out the only rattle was actually the bottle cage that I hadn't tightened up properly. But um, everything seems pretty tight all good you know so steel or carbon you know i still actually need to do a video about the yolio versus the wind space because i think this is an interesting video you know so i know a lot of you asked which one do i prefer and apologies for being so behind on the comments i'm trying to churn out a video like every two days so my new upload schedule is monday wednesday friday and it's quite a lot getting three vlogs out a week but you guys are worth it i feel like i can waffle for hours so why not put the content out there but in all honesty first impressions new favorite bike or new favorite road bike and you guys know i've got a lot of road bikes i love this stayer i don't care that it's slightly heavier i just love it i love it it's so good right let's do some more riding <laughs>
I've totally made my bar so dirty already as well, you know. Oh dear. <laughs> what do you guys think of the tape? Do you think I should change it for black? Is it like too blue? I think it might be too blue or kind of like greeny. I don't know. Like, I don't know if the camera kind of picks up enough to show you the difference. I don't know if it's like clashy or not clashy. Or do I put my crazy floral bar tape back on here? I mean, that floral bar tape was pretty cool. I know it's like very Marmite. You guys either loved it or hated it. I kind of loved it. And I think it kind of goes with this bike. The only problem is, it is awful. It's so slippy. Like, looks awesome. Complete rubbish though. Like, you know, it's just too shiny and it goes all slippy and weird. But I love how it looks. So, you know, we'll see. I've also cracked out the summer shoes, you know, that Kiddo painted. So like, we're on a full custom day today. Custom bike, custom shoes. And honestly, it's riding so smooth. The gear shifting's all like crisp and clean. I only gonna do a short ride today. And I've been out for like, two and a bit hours already. I just can't stop riding. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm gonna get up super early tomorrow and get up for a proper nice road ride. It's been a while since I've did a road ride. I mean, but first impressions, yeah, like, oh, I don't just wanna be like, oh, it's amazing, everything's amazing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, honestly, if you had the money and it was between like a custom steel frame and like a carbon frame, you know, I kind of always said that like, I'd pick carbon because it's just lighter and a bit more racy. Or maybe it's the fact that now I own a custom steel frame. Like, I think I prefer steel. Genuinely, I'm pretty surprised, I'm gonna be honest. But that does not mean that I hate like carbon frames. I'm never gonna ride carbon again. Like I love a carbon frame. I just think like, I don't know. Everyone always says it, like there's something special, isn't there about steel? And it's true. And it also looks amazing. It just looks amazing. Have I told you guys, it looks amazing. But what do you guys reckon? Like, you know, steel, carbon, alley, what's your preference? If like money were no object, what would you go for? I think I've done a bit of a change it up. I don't think I'd go for carbon anymore. I think I'd go for steel. I just, I like it. All right, let me just stop here. It's so blimmin' windy, you can't hear a thing, can you? <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I wanna know, do you like my bike? Do you prefer this over my other bikes? Like, what's your favorite one of my bikes? And what's your favorite of your bikes? And would you pick steel, carbon, aluminum? What would you pick? So many questions. Thanks as always for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. I think we need to take this on a maiden voyage and do something big. Right, bye-bye-bye.